Hey guys, uh, Codebeard is here today. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, just having a look at Dogecoin today. So Dogecoin USD. Uh, Dodge USD. Uh, there was a crash today in the morning. Uh, around, actually not the morning. It was around 1 o'clock. Uh, so there, it was, uh, Dogecoin was declining for, uh, for a while. There's a few crashes. Uh, you can see right there. Was that the, I think that was the first crash, initial, yeah, so this started, uh, when did this start? The 8th of May. I think it was on the weekend. I remember there was a huge crash and there was a little bit of a crash today, so I wanted to make a video on Sunday. I think it was on Saturday, yeah, it was on Saturday. Uh, at night time, so it would have been Sunday for, uh, New Yorkers and anybody on the East Coast. So it was like, uh... 10 o'clock, 10.15 my time on the dot, actually no, 10.30 on the dot. So it would have been three hours ahead of that if you're on the east coast. So like 1.30 in the morning or something like that, 1.32. It went on for a bit, uh, went on for like 45 minutes, half an hour. So initially, uh, I said it was going to go short around 40, uh, where was I saying, maybe around 47. So if you would have closed, so you would have been in profit if you would have taken my call. Again, I wasn't uh, being exact. I was just saying it was going to go short. Uh, I'll try to be more precise, but I definitely think uh, I was just saying for you know for for long term it's going to be going short. And anyways, you would have came up on top. Uh, just overall, you would have came up on top whatever 47 to 40 is or whatever around 46 47 I think it was 46.7 on the dot that I said that uh, I wasn't trying to be exact but I knew it was going to go short anyways so it did go short and I think there's continued momentum to the downside uh, today we had a little bit of a crash again to test was that a was that a test or is it lower let's see uh, so 41.3 41.5 so it was an almost test it was a, it was right there it was almost like a retrace to support so that's just on the 15 we're starting to come up high here uh, from a day trading perspective we're starting to get back up to uh, support here so there's support uh, there is another color I'm in night mode so I can't see the colors but uh, it's in green, so we're coming up to RSI support there. Uh, we are having the shorter time frames uh, starting to get overbought. You can see they are overbought. And uh, did I say the RSI is going to? It's starting to touch. It's going to touch that support for a possible retrace back down. Uh, so it is getting overbought on the 15 from a day trading perspective we're starting to get overbought again uh, so let's just go to let's go to the one week let's go to the one week so let's look at the big picture here so uh, so we, we do have that red candle forming was that just today excuse me was that today it, it was green at, no it wasn't green so yes yeah, it's it open red it's open at 57 cents uh, high was fractional of that, so not much higher than that at all. That's why we can't even see the wick on top. Uh, so again, we had the high of 74 area, and then we just had a we just have a perfect almost red candle down. That's not good. We have some bearish momentum here starting. We have the I'll remove that green line. So we have the cross again from uh, over bought to oversold. Forgive me if I mix those up, if I'm talking fast. So yeah, overbought, to over, uh, not oversold, but coming down to neutral. We're going to test neutral. So again, neutral is at 50. Watch for the break of uh, 50 to the downside. And the same for 30 to the downside. And eventually back up if we once we get there. But not right now. Several weeks of decline we're looking at. Uh, again, so when's the last time we are yeah, so this this has gotten uh, oversold. 
the low is there. This looks pretty good, you know, at least around the 30, 35 area. And probably 44 is looking almost for sure at this point, if you just average all those lines out. So, you know, somewhere, somewhere in the, this area is where we're going to see a retrace to. So once we get in that zone, starting a, starting to look for an entry wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a bad idea, but that could take a long time again, a year or two. That's what, that's what I'm saying. If we get down here, even lower, let's just say here's our worst case scenario, because getting lower than that would really have to be something serious like regulations or something but let's just say the low you want to be looking there is probably almost as low as like if you were to start a position here you'd probably almost 100 percent make money in the future once we got down there though that's what i'm saying somewhere between here and there is pretty much for sure is what we're going to test eventually so it could take a long time around the weekly candles this could take you know a year or two for it to come back down but again this was a, a quick a quick sell uh has the rsi denoted in the yellow line moved a lot probably not that's why we're saying this could definitely come back down and it could take a long time so let's just have a look at the monthly uh same idea here so it's, 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 it's almost easier to look at the monthly, what well, is, have a look where your support area is. So around there is, is probably, a, it's probably a worst case scenario because we've never been down here. And if we were to get down here, it probably, if, if it did come back down here, it definitely would probably get bought up to at least, you know, over neutral for sure. So just, you know, from averaging out some numbers here to here wouldn't be a bad idea. But the, again, that could take a long time to come down. It could take a, a year or two. It could even be more, but actually October 20. Yeah, let's just say a year or two. Because again, it didn't move. So from October 2020, uh, we were down. Yeah, so it's it spiked up quite a bit since October 2020. Uh, so March, March, uh, March 2020. So over a year. So you know maybe another year before it falls back down. That's pretty accurate. So I would not start a position here. Uh, I would wait. There you you, you want to get the best price you can get, right? If you can get a price below one cent in the hundred in the hundreds or the thousandth of a cent at least the hundreds of a cent then you know you could be making a lot more money than you would be buying now and there's high probability for it to be going down uh, for the daily again when I mentioned the short I was just giving in uh, giving in a, just kind of just trying to uh, explain the long-term trend I wasn't like you know short now or whatever but as far as uh, being more accurate would be something for me to work on for myself even if I can see the long-term trend I'm going to uh, try to uh, be more accurate if anyone's trying to uh, open a position but I think we mentioned it like around what day was it here I'm thinking it was this the last time I made the video here here so it had a little bit of a spike and it came down you would have made money either way so I'm going to try to be more precise on the daily uh, to help you guys uh, actually magnify the position. Try to find that exact inflection point. Uh, so yeah, so it did come up against these bands. We had a cross up of that EMA 2 and the EMA 9 cross was there. We continued to cross up. We came high on that band. So when did I mention that? So yeah, so this is kind of clear actually because RSI, the yellow line, it did get quite. It was an easy, uh, easier one because when I was probably focused on a code or something, I wasn't really paying attention to it. But pretty much we had a cross up here, uh, so neutral area to overbought. 
that's going to signal a little bit of a move up. And then we had the inflection here. So where do we get a close? First close, whoops, first close down was this area here. You know, that was at 64. That was pretty good. That was probably where I should have uh, redone a video. But yeah, that, that first red close in the close down is pretty much where people started to really want to go short. But again, you want to be ahead of that. So somewhere here would have been probably pretty good. But again, once that flashed uh, pink and once that inflected back down over here, that would have been a, probably a really good signal right there when it crossed down back into neutral, that red line. Uh, when that red line crossed down and that went, uh, when, when you had a inflection to negative infinity right here, that would have been a good strong signal. Uh, where is, it? is there some divergence here? Yeah, there. I think there is. So look, the high of that candle 69, that high of that candle 73, 73. So we had the, uh, sorry, it's, uh, is it, uh, yeah, it's divergence. I might have mixed it up in my other video. It's known to be bullish divergence, but I think in, in calculus it's actually called bullish convergence. But anyway, so we had the RSI move down while the price moved up. Uh, shorter indicator, same thing. I'm not going to draw it out, but you can see it. Uh, we had the uh, histogram move down as price went up. So that green peak to that green peak. Uh, nothing here. Uh, let's see if we have any signal line changes. I think we did have a sing signal line change. Yeah, so it did. We did see a decrease in slope. I think I probably just skipped over the daily last time, that's why. But the daily can be useful. The daily and the four hour can be useful to being more precise. And once if you can get the precision on those and the 15 would help, you actually pinpoint the exact draw. But uh, yeah, so we did have the uh, decrease in volume as the price moved up a little bit, whatever that peak is at the top. The, the the volume moved down as the price moved up, and that's pretty much here. Uh, all there is here to see. Uh, I did want I did have another layout uh, on my. Uh, there was another account I wanted to show you on TradingView, but it was like my friend's account or something. Uh, wink, wink. But I wanted to. Uh, I had a layout on there. But I forgot I only have a game recorder, so I can only record one screen at a time, one screen at a time. So I can't even show it to you, but I'll try to combine those layouts at some point. Yeah, but anyways, there's there's nothing really here uh, as far as the four hour goes where that peak was. It just gets more in depth. So whatever we talked about, the di all the uh, the bearish divergences, uh, divergence and negative infinity. It just becomes more clear here. Pretend like we're zooming in so you can see that slope increase to positive infinity. You can see the volume decrease, slope on that. Uh, you can see the RSI decrease as the price, <coughs> excuse me, as the price moved up. Same thing here is uh, decrease in signal line. Now we got the default MACD, same thing, decrease in signal line. We couldn't see that on the daily. We can see it here and it's just even more clear. So as you go farther in and you look back out, you'll see it pretty much match. You'll pretty much see a match here. So anyways, we'll move on from Dodge. I wanted to try to talk about all three uh, coins right now or like the, the major movers, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Dodge. But pretty much that's all to talk about here. Uh, again, that RSI is at on the monthly. It's at 99.54. So of course we would see this come back below 70, between 50 and 70 for sure. I'm thinking we talked about uh, that support area at like 40, 45, 
45 area, right? That support 44, 45 to like 50, 49. That's that's where we're looking for that to come back down to. Uh, so so again, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, they all crashed on. Did they all crash on Saturday? Uh, I don't think they all crashed on Saturday, but they did all crash today. Uh, this uh, Ethereum crashed from like uh, 4,100 something to 3,600. That I saw, and I don't think there was anything on the weekend. Was there anything on the weekend? Uh, no, again, I think for uh, the reason why it crashed on the weekend was because of the Elon Musk uh, going on uh, Saturday Night Live. Not that it, it was because of him that it crashed, but it was because of, it was just volatile at that time. He's kind of marketing it, right, and he's going on, he's going live on TV, so whatever he was saying, it was kind of like when you, when the Fed has a meeting about interest rates, then the U.S. dollar gets really volatile, or like any country. It's the same thing. It was like the same idea. So it, there was just a lot of volatility, just, you know, something to do. Traders want to look at the market when it's on the news or whatever, right? So it got volatile. Uh, so today, all the, all the, uh, I mean, the, the three coins, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, they all fell at the same time today. So that could be signaling that the market, the overall cryptocurrency market wants to come down together. Uh, we did have a break here. So I think this is just the beginning of the, the beginning of the crash. Like there, I think obviously there'll be a huge crash to come. That's where support is, by the way, all the way down there. Support one for monthly, and support two is like here, and support three is probably where it's going to level out to somewhere between there and there. So there's a long way for that to come back down. Uh, as far as months go, again we could we said that this could take a long time to come back down, several months, right, a year or two. Uh, it's it's all the same. It's all the, it's looking the same to me. We just have tons of volatility to the upside, like as far as the monthly and weekly go. It's just it's just strong volatility to the upside. We have a huge break of the, that band there, so there's lots of volatility here. We have the EMA nine all the way. Is that sorry? That's not the EMA nine. That's the EMA two all the way down there, which we almost retraced retraced to today, which is of course it's. Uh, how coincidental is that, right? And he retraced to an EMA, uh, but now you can't even see it. So look where the EMA 9 is, it's down there. Look what happened last time we came high. Uh, look how many times it retraced down to the EMA 9. There's like, it's almost the same amount of candles that there are there is how many times it retraced to the EMA 9. It's that white line right there. It's almost every month or two it retraced down, except for that month there. It's like a doji, a bullish doji. Then we got retraced to the EMA9, retraced to the EMA9, a floater. We got a break, came high, then retraced to the EMA9, below, closed below the EMA9, several months of decline, that's the, that's the bear cycle. And then a buy up at the bottom test continued bear uh, we got monthly was that called double bottom if you're familiar with patterns or just a test of support and then we got a run and then now look where we are same idea we've came high where's the ma9 all the way down here and they honestly they all look the same all the cryptos like the main cryptos they all look the same like the top 10 coins they all look the same we'll be getting into uh, all coins soon so uh, stay tuned for the top 10 coins, but there, you know, there's a lot of room for this to come down. Tons of room. We've, we've talked about that. Uh, same idea. They all look the same. Like I just painted the picture perfectly for you. Like of how far they've drifted away from these moving averages and stuff, right? As far the month, as far as the monthly goes, uh, weekly, we got a, a red start here. Same idea, we're very far from these lines. 
on the weekly we got a uh, bearish start we got an inflection to negative infinity we got a histogram close lower uh, start open lower than where it is right now I mean previously so for can you see that it's actually the green uh, bar is actually higher than that pink bar this hasn't inflected yet on the faster MACD nor has that orange line zero line uh, no red, uh, no red histograms yet. Nothing here yet. So if there's nothing here yet, then this has a long way to go. Uh, same idea, uh, same divergence here. Price up, indicators down, uh, signal line up, histogram, uh, not nothing on here. Nothing on the histogram here, but we got the de decline in volume. Is there anything uh, on the monthly? Uh, is there anything on the monthly? Yeah, no, just just pretty much just crossing and some divergence on the RSI and the volume. Uh, we got uh, want these wanting to cross back over wanting to come back below uh, having some red and blue histograms here they want to form uh, there's divergence here we have the histogram going lower as signal lines moving up and we have the price moving higher while that happens uh, volume goes down it's all it's all the same like I'm saying it's it's almost they're all almost every coin that we talked about uh, we have been talking about they almost look exactly the same so that's probably why they all crash today at the same time because the market's starting to get too hot it wants to uh, wants to have a profit taking phase and stuff so we'll just talk about Bitcoin so we had the so the low today was 53 uh, it's it's almost like uh, what it uh, Bitcoin's leading the, uh, the decline. And the reason why I say that is because have a look at the monthly. It's almost like, whoops, why is it doing that? It's almost like, uh, like it's just time for, look, there's a, a couple months ago, or you know, a month ago before that month started here, when we were here, this looked almost impossible. No one would think we'd have a red month start and a second red month start and that gap down there. And there, no one, no one thought we would have this start. So again, last time, in the run, in 2018 or 2017, when the run ended for the bearish market to start in 2018, Bitcoin was actually leading the pack again. And it makes sense because it's the, it's worth the most and it's the most popular, right? It has the biggest market cap, so it's leading the pack. It's kind of. Uh, setting the pass for the other coins to follow we have that doji almost well it's a doji but it's a red doji because it's a small body and a big wick but it's it's red it closed red and now we have a red candle start but uh below this candle so the close of that candle is here and now this candle is here it's it's below we've closed below look at that tip there and that tip there it's below nothing has been higher than that there's no candle there that's higher than that that's almost it's uh could be the exact inflection point for the start of a long bearish cycle a long profit taking phase uh we have these histograms crossing over uh sharp inflection here to the to negative infinity to bearish uh, a bearish uh inflection in easier terms a uh, no inflection here so you can imagine when that does inflect that that would definitely trigger a huge crash because that's uh, like a default and default uh, algorithm right so maybe a lot of things are coded on that on that inflection perhaps if someone wanted to code that they would code when that would be less than what it is now if, inf if it closed and inflected uh, perhaps once that histogram goes red Al algorithms are going to get uh, triggered 
to start shorts and the last one would be when that crosses down so there's a long way to go here uh, anyone on faster settings would, would be ahead of that game there too on anything obviously any indicator at all that's why play with the numbers uh, try different inputs and see what works and what doesn't it takes a long time to test different numbers but again we got that cross down there and we have had the red indicator cross down below uh, the blue one is yet to cross and of course that yellow one has not caught the RSI has not crossed over yet and when it does again that would trigger a lot of uh, trigger a lot of algorithms to go off to start selling positions so again we have the decrease in volume and it's just it's almost the same right it, they're almost it's at Bitcoin's leading as far as um, the monthly we got a sharp uh, cross over here lots of no one would think that we'd ever see that go red again but hey look it's red now right the divergence it's all it almost looks the same all the way around everything I pointed out you can see here and this yellow line now RSI it wants to get back down here once it crosses down at that point when it closed down that's that point where it's like hey when's the last time we were uh, well here I guess where we had a so yeah you know made money if you wanted to short there that's when that crash was by the way that flash crash I remember it was some somewhere in there it went from like 12k to like 8k in like a few seconds anyway so that got bought up we had a run and same idea just you know same just all just all resetting the charts just want to reset algorithms want to reset so support on the weekly is just uh, as far as RSI goes it's down there so there's a long long way for that to even test to just test before we even have uh, some divergence where that starts to go up and the sorry convergence bullish diver, uh, convergence technically uh, and the price would go down and then then we would have some bullish convergence but we that would in, again that could take a long long time that's what we're saying look how we look how we diverged here look the price is diverging away from the indicators same idea same idea same uh, it's all the same they all look the same right and that's very strong that's very strong divergence and that's what I said I don't know like a couple months ago that this was the strongest divergence that this chart has ever seen its life its chart life has ever seen there hasn't seen any stronger uh, divergence so you would have been up what did this go to 46 yeah around there right so you what did it was it was it even there uh no okay yeah so over here yeah so just above that 47 you would have been up you would have been up if you would have went short just on that divergence that we were talking about that this was the strongest divergence that this chart has ever seen divergence that it's ever seen and it just it's it's uh it's followed through it's followed through it's what it's uh, what it wanted to do and now there's it wants to come back down here once that resets between here and here or lower but let's just say for sure between here and here right we're not even halfway at that point neutrals at 50 right we haven't even got down to 50 yet we're at 60 61.18 and we're at 54 already so there's still tons of room for that to get back down to 27 or less 27.28 let's just say greater and equal to that so again it's all it all it's all uh it's all happening now it seems like 
because I'm reading some of the chat in, in like trading view like obviously I don't read it too often but if I did see it there's a lot of retailers in there and they're saying like yeah the bear market is starting they're, they think now oh the now the bear market is starting those are probably the early birds those are the early birds and when the analyst thinks when the analyst th uh, when the analysts think that it's a bear market I guarantee you will already be down here we'll be below 37 when we're at like 36 35 they're gonna be like oh yeah we're in a bear market now but look the peak of that price was at 65 that's how long it takes for them to realize that right so that's what we were saying you that's what we were saying you want to be early you want to know before it's gonna be that low that's when the that's when people are really gonna go short right so there's so much opportunity if you can if you can uh, know beforehand that's what we're that's what we're talking about when everybody hops on the boat you hop off when everybody hops off the boat you hop on that's how that's how it, it works that's how uh, big hedge funds work right that's how they that's how they make their money they know what to do before everybody else does so anyways we'll just leave it there uh, keep your eye out for the next crash uh, probably we'll see a crash pretty soon uh, that's that's nothing that's that's not that's not a crash a crash is like from there to here in one day that's a crash and then from there to there in another day that's a crash so uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time take care